So every year LEGO comes up with a new and exclusive set for their employees and land members. This year no different of course. Last year we got that awesome X-Wing build. That was a great set actually. But this year they've gone for something a little bit more traditional. So Rich here, welcome back to another Brick Scene video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit that thumbs up if you like this sort of content, and leave a comment below, let me know what you think. So as I was saying, we're gonna take a look at the employee Christmas gift. This year it's called 40 Years of Hands-On Learning. It's a 919 piece set. So we'll take a quick look at the box, do a quick build, and then we'll get into the review. So look, before we get into the speed build, we'll have a quick look at the box. Look, there's no image of the set on the front of the box. There's just all this Christmassy style detailing using uh, Lego parts as the details. I quite like it. You've obviously got the set number down here, 10 plus, 919 pieces, etc. Uh, not for sale down the bottom, of course. Now on the side, you've got that 40 year anniversary uh, logo 40 years hands-on learning and lego education uh, i think it's the same the other side yes the same the other side there as well uh, on the back you actually have a picture of the set so inside the box there's this advertising piece obviously to uh, show off a bit more about that 40 years of hands-on learning via lego and then we've got four manuals there, uh, one for each part of the build so look we're going to do a quick speed build and then we'll get on to the review Okay, so here is the completed model. As you saw with the instructions and the speed build there, you create it in four sections. So it's modular design. There is a lot of movement going on in this set as well, but each individual module, if you like, it works independently as well. So you can have the movement on each separate one as well as all together. Now we'll come back to the movement, uh, but I just wanted to show it all together like this because this is obviously how it's meant to be displayed. As it is modular and the way it's been put together, you can actually put it together in any configuration. Although this is the way it probably should go because it's a sort of natural way it works starting off with the presents around the tree there coming into the wrapping section of course and then being handed over and going onto the conveyor belt so we'll have a look at how the mechanism works and we'll see it all working together so as you can see there the christmas tree and the train are running independently on the first one there you've got the hammer and the uh, paint roller there on the second one and of course that little clock pendulum going in the background as well on the third one there you've got the elf moving the present over onto the conveyor belt it's two movements there it's going from 
side to side and up and down. Then of course you've got the conveyor on the end and the little wordy thing going around. And you can also see that little elf jumping up and down on the top there. So look, what we'll do is we'll have a look at each individual module and we can see how the nuts and bolts of this thing work. So here is that first section. Now, it's obviously a Christmas tree with a little train running around the bottom there. There's a fireplace in behind the Christmas tree. There's a little minifig on top. There's a little elf there with a classic looking face and some sort of toy there on the mantelpiece as well. The elf being minifig scale is actually toy scale to the rest of the model, but it's a nice little touch. I really like the use of those cogs to create the Christmas tree and the fact they've managed to get it to spin one way while the train was just clipped onto one of those webbed eight-sided pieces. I'm not too sure the name of the the actual piece and that's actually rotating in the opposite direction so I'll just come around this side I'll show you that mechanism working again so you can see the Christmas tree rotating one way and the train going around the other way underneath look it's just really clever it's quite simple it's very fluid uh, but very cool now I'm going to turn around and you can see the back of it. So I've come around to the back now you can see that mechanism in all its glory so there's quite a bit going on in there but yeah you can turn that and you can see all sorts of things going on and it's obviously moving those two pieces in different directions look it's really nice really now as we come into the second section we've got the elf here that's putting the toys together he's hammering stuff together and wrapping them up and you know, painting them by the looks of things with that yellow paint uh, look really nice details in that elf's face I like the use of the frog there to get the point of the hat they're going over the top the facial expression that beard the nose I just love it I think it's really really cool now there's a couple of little pieces in there that push the arms up and down just subtly to give that movement also movement there in that clock in the background that's sitting there at 10 to midnight with the pendulum there it swings as well just really nicely decorated I love it I love the colors it really pops though that blue and the yellow against the green and the red and of course all those tan and nougat colors in the background I think it looks great now I'll flip it around I've also just put in the handle from the the first one because like I said you can control all these mechanisms individually so we'll have a look at how this one moves a little closer up. okay so I've turned it around so we can have a look at the movement in here if I just start turning this you can just see those little pieces lifting those arms up and dropping them and it's just making that little knocking sound as the hammer and the paint roller comes down it's subtle but it's just a really really nice fluid movement check out that face as well what a, what a great looking facial expression now I'm just going to bring it back around this side so you can just have a look at the pendulum on the clock there as well that's just great works really really well now if I come around to the back you can see the mechanisms look very very simple but effective if I start turning this around you can see what's going on there note this piece here how it's sharper at one end and, and you know thicker at the other that's just creating slightly different movements with the hammer and the uh, paint roller on the other side great stuff really really well done now here we come into the third section and this is just on an angled corner it's actually really really well put together this is a little happy elf who's taking the presents and about to put them onto the conveyor so he's just lifting them up and moving them from one side to the other it looks like a simple mechanism but there's quite a lot going on there and especially how it's going around that little corner so it's creating an angle in the back there note the little rat down there and a little robot as well on wheels with a little single eye it's just a really nice little touch you see how that presence being lifted up and going from one side to the other, sort of lifting from down to up. It's just subtle, but very, very clever. Now I'll turn it around to the back so you can see how all the mechanism works. You can see there's a lot more going on here, quite a few more gears, etc., and a universal joint there to get around that corner. Sort of fairly simple, but it works really, really well. And again, you can see that, um, that frog, that green frog piece being used as the tip of the hat uh, on the other side really really cool now last but not least we've got this fourth section with the conveyor where all the presents get put on and they go out through that curtain obviously to be delivered by the big man himself so look some really nice details on this one obviously the detailing around that entranceway and the curtain that yellow and black uh, the red and green lights the stop and go I really really like that notice that piece at the front there with the printed 40 years of Lego education I think that's five by six by one deep really really nice but it's printed there's no stickers with the set of course you've got this whirly thing on this side here uh, you'll see how it works in a second but it's connected with a rubber band to that wheel to give a bit of a sort of steam powered contraption type look to it uh, note the elf on the top as well cheeky looking elf he moves up and down very subtly with the mechanism it's really really clever so here's how the mechanism works in this one you're just driving that track piece around uh, it's obviously connected to a wheel on the other side with that rubber band driving that axle for that little whirly thing but if you if you spin it fast it spins up to give that sort of old school sort of steam powered contraption 
uh, look to it. Uh, look at the presents as well. There's all sorts of different sort of style presents, nicely colored. Look, it just looks really nice. Nice pop of color in there as well. And then of course that little cheeky elf up on top. Check out that facial expression though. How cool is that? So I've turned it around here so we can have a look at the back of it. Check out the back of that cheeky little elf with those pink trousers there. I really, really like it. So look, if I just start sort of turning this, you can just see how, how simple that is. All you're doing is pushing those presents around and they're going back around again. But you can see how the curtain just lifts the elf up slightly to give them a little bit of a jump every now and again. It's really, really clever, really clever. So here it is all back together again. I thought I'd just let you have another look at how that mechanism all works when it's all back together. It's so smooth, it looks great. And what a beautiful thing, what a beautiful thing. Very well engineered. Now let me turn it around so you can see how it looks with everything together at the back. It looks awesome. So here it is looking at it from the back with all those workings on show. I really, really like how this is put together and how it's all open like this at the back so you can see how everything works. I think it's amazing. So look, if I just start moving it around, you can see it all working in harmony. Some subtle, some larger movements, of course, but all to create that awesome scene around the other side. What a neat thing. I think it's just really, really cool. So there you have it, the employee Christmas gift. I think it's a charming set. I love all that movement, those faces on those elves. That's absolutely awesome. Hey, look, let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe, like, all that cool stuff. We will see you on the next video. Cheers.